Okay, we're on the last fill-in-the-blank example. That is drag and drop. Okay, so uh, let's do this about a couple um, teachers. So Mrs. Well, we're going to fill this blank. We'll say the response is going to be Mrs. Jenkins teaches anatomy, but who teaches earth science. Okay, so um, I have drag and drop this time. Okay, so I need to choose, uh, first I need options. Mrs. Jenkins, my next option, Mr. John. That would give them just the right answers. So now I'm gonna put in some wrong answers. Mr. Brown and uh, Ms. Placenta. Okay, again, just putting in answers. Down here, I'm gonna choose the right answers. Mrs. Jenkins, Mr. Don. Up here, again, I can scramble these. All right, however I want. I don't have to, but I can. Duplicate responses, remember that's if there is uh, the same answer used more than once. If I needed to put an alternate answer, like if these could be swapped, I would need to set up another answer where Mr. John went here and Mrs. Jenkins went here. However, that's not true. So I definitely wouldn't want an alternate answer. I'm not choosing partial match because it just has to be right. Uh, not choosing a penalty score. I never do anything for the penalty score. And then I click save. And I'm going to leave the point value at two this time. So I'm going to change that from one uh, because they're too blank. 